Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you in easy steps how to make these colorful zigzaggy fringe seed beads earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't also liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you motivate me to make more and more absolutely free tutorials similar to this one. You might also want to support me as members and it comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Without further ado, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads, purple, light, light pink, turquoise, dark pink and white. Here I'm using earring findings, slick bags, you could use others of your choice. This is nylon thread from Spark Beads, you could use Naimo or other prank that you like, but the important part is that the fringes are done with nylon thread. Even if you use fire line for the top part, the fringes should be with nylon thread because in this way they are softer and look better. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use similar size of needle, scissors and flat nose pliers. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work with three light pink beads, one purple bead and two light pink beads and I'm sliding those down, leaving a small tail here. I'm going back through this three light pink beads back in circle and I'm holding my tail thread. So when I pull I have this. Okay, then I will go back through these three beads, the second ones, okay, like this. And I'm pulling a little bit. I'm taking one light pink bead and two purple beads and I'm going backwards through these three beads. Back in circle like I did before. Okay, and I go back just like this guys. Now I have three columns of three beads and I will continue adding three, this time three purple. Okay, and I need to have eight columns of three purple. I added the first one, so I need to add seven more. Okay, my friends, and I have my first row ready. Okay, guys, now when I'm ready with this row, I will start adding more beads with the so-called brick stitch. And I'm starting it with two beads. If you're not familiar, don't worry, I'm showing it easy and step by step. So I start with two and I go here. You see these thread bridges that I have between my beads, between the columns. 
I go under the second one. Here I'm just pulling a little bit the thread. Okay, holding it between my fingers. Okay, and I pull. Then I go through the bead which is closer to the center. Why I go under the second thread bridge? Well, because in my next row I will have less beads than in my previous one, so I'm making a decreasing rig stitch. Again, if you're not familiar, don't worry, I will show it in easy steps. Okay, and I take one of those beautiful purple beads and I go under the next thread bridge and then I go back just like this. Okay guys, and I continue absolutely the same way. I go under the following thread bridge with this purple bead and I pull and I go back through the same bead. Okay. And I will continue doing absolutely the same thing guys. Going under the next thread bridge with purple bead and going back through this same purple bead. Okay, then again. And here at my last thread bridge I add my last bead. Here in this row I have 10 beads. And I will continue decreasing guys. I will have less and less beads and in this way I, fall, I will form something like a triangle. Okay, I take two again and because I decrease I will go under the second thread bridge. And this next row, guys, will consist of nine beads. Again, I'm going through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and I pull. And I will decrease the number of beads that I'm adding. Here in this row, they will be nine. I'm adding one bead at each thread bridge. And in the next row, they will be eight, then seven, six, and so on until I have a row with only two of those beautiful purple beads. And I will show you then what's coming up next. But it is basically absolutely the same thing, only the starting of a row you should remember and then you add one by one your beads. Okay, I'm starting a next row and this time it will be from eight beads. And again, you just remember how you start your row. You take two beads, always start with two beads and you go under the second thread bridge here. You see here is the first, here is the second. And then you go through the bead which is closer to the center. 
So these are the steps that you should remember. And then one by one, add purple beads until the end. Okay, so this will be a row with eight beads, seven, six, five, four, three. And when you reach two, I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding two, the last two C beads. You see, I have this row with three. I hope you were able to do this following the instructions. And here I take two and I go under the second thread bridge like I did before. I have only two thread bridges, but it is the same principle. And then I go here through this one. Okay. Then I'm taking a seed bead, an earring finding and a seed bead. And as I'm exiting from one, from one of those beads, I'm going through the other one. And I'm reinforcing. Okay. Then I go like this. Then through the middle one zigzagging and here in this direction through all of those beads. Okay, now I can put a needle here at this end guys. Okay, and off camera I moved my needle here. And what I want to do is go in this direction. I will make a loop. Pull. Then I will go through some beads here and I'm going to cut this tail thread. Okay. Now I will put my needle back here on this end. Okay, my friends, and I have my needle back here. And now I'm going to pick up a long sequence of beads and I will start my fringes. And when I pick up the first sequence, I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and I'm picking up the following sequence. 13 light pink beads, 15 dark pink beads, 3 white beads and 1 purple bead. So this is for my first fringe. Now I'm going to skip the purple one and I will go back through as many beads as I can in this direction. Okay. And I will pull. Okay. Now I'm going to go through the rest of the beads. And through these three beads from the main part of my earring. Okay, I just went through these three beads. And I want to go in a position to add my next fringe. That is why I'm going through the neighbor three beads. Okay. Now I will pick up another long sequence and I'll be back. Okay, my friends. And in my next step, I'm picking up 12 light pink beads, 15 dark pink beads, four white beads and one purple bead. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I skip the purple bead and I go through as many beads as I can in this direction. I'm careful not to skip any beads because I would need to start over if I do this.
and I'm going like this. And I'm pulling, going through these three beads from the main part, from the very first row that I did. And then I go back like this. And I'm ready for another long sequence. I will pick it up and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and now I'm taking 11 light pink beads, 15 dark pink beads, 5 white beads and 1 purple bead. Okay, then I do absolutely the same thing. Skipping the purple one and going in this direction through as many beads as I can in one movement. Careful again not to skip any beads. Go back through all of those beads here. Turn your work the way it's easier. And go in the next, in the next three beads ready for your next fringe. Okay, pick up the next long sequence and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I have here are 10 light pink beads, 2 turquoise beads, 13 dark pink beads, six white beads and one purple. I'll go back, pick up the next sequence and I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I'm adding here at my fifth fringe are one purple, eight light pink, four turquoise, 11 dark pink and seven white and one purple. Okay, then I'll go back and I will position my thread for my next long sequence. I'll pick it up and I'll be back. Okay, and my next sequence is two purple, six light pink, six turquoise, nine dark pink, eight white and one purple. Okay, I'm going back. I'll come here, pick up the next sequence and be back. Okay, guys, and what I have here are three purple beads, four light pink beads, eight turquoise beads, seven dark pink beads, nine white beads and one purple bead. Okay, see you for the next sequence. And next sequence consists of four purple, two light pink beads, 10 turquoise beads, five dark pink beads, 10 white beads and one purple bead. Okay, I will go back and pick up the next sequence. And my next long sequence is five purple beads, 12 turquoise beads, three dark pink beads, 11 white beads and one purple. Okay, see you for the next sequence. Okay, and the next sequence guys is six purple beads, 12 turquoise beads, one pink bead, dark pink bead, 12 white beads and one purple. Okay, see you for the next one. Okay, my friends, and here I have just added my last fringe, which consists of seven purple beads, 12 turquoise beads, 12 white beads and one purple bead. Okay, now I went back here and I will make my final knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made, pulling, then going through some beads in this direction and cutting this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my zigzaggy fringe earrings are ready. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't for more tutorials like this one and for new beading inspiration every week. A lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And I'm expecting pictures of your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page. Thank you for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.